the first wave started when the industrial revolution started and this wave of industrial revolution actually led to this wave of industrial revolution actually led to a very simple thought of production of goods that was very important at the mass scale because production of goods at the mass scale was important the large scale was important therefore ceo of the organization the business owner of the organization was expected to be operationally a very strong person so operations chief operating officer typically would become the ceo of the organization then came the second wave when everybody was producing so much now we organizations with selling power were competitive enough so sales became an important element of the organization therefore the chief operating officers the ceos of the organizations were had to be focused on sales so selling people took birth then came the third wave third wave was the age of internet the wave of lots of use of virtual tools with the advent of internet the information which was usually channeled through the sales representatives was now available online therefore the competitive advantage of a sales representative came down and marketing messages became extremely important when marketing messages become important that is exactly when the age of marketing took birth and the chief executive officers had to be strong marketing professionals creative mindsets then came the fourth wave when the bubbles started busting lehman brothers come down came down goldman sachs comes down the typical investment banker who was very very glamorous profession suddenly was was being looked at with a very wrong eye organizations now had to turn towards their cfos and chief compliance officers for bringing about sustainability so the chief executive officer ceo of the organization will need to look at the cfo and should have the skills of a finance professional and must be aware about the compliances that they need to follow that was the fourth wave this wave recently happened in 2008 now we are sitting in 2021 corona has brought about an absolutely new wave a wave of remote working a wave of disjointed teams wave of matrix structures three four five generations sitting in the business at one time and not meeting each other a wave of non touch asparsh non touch management so asparsh management ka bhi ek wave start hua hai so great transformation titanic movements in the way human and technology have to come together to manage this management disruption has started now so ceo needs to have the understanding of both human and technology and therefore this is the wave where human care and technological understanding of the ceo is a must for him to justify that position